Janino had just such amazing talent and close ball control. I mean, a very small player, but could go through people, keep the ball very, very close to him all the time and take people on. And no one knew how to take the ball off him. Uh, superb player. Never seen anyone like him before. Paul Gascon. I just think he's brought the bus to the club. He's a, uh, despite what everybody says about him, he's, uh, he's got football at heart and we all love him. Probably Robbie Musto, 100% every match. Class player, top quality. Bernie Slaven, legend, legend on Teesside. He just, he was just there all the time, vital goals. He'd come on a sub and score, he'd, he'd score from the start. And uh, even now he's, he's folk hero at Middlesbrough and he's always got time, if you see him out in town, he's always got time to stop and shake your hand. And always a brilliant bloke. And the fans, again, one of the fans adore. And you know, we'll always, have a soft place in the heart of Bernie Slaven. I've got to probably say that the opening goal here at the Sallet Riverside Stadium, it was a brilliant day, the fans couldn't believe the new surroundings, it was tremendous, and Middles were building up beside their own half, the Ortoff was involved, Nicky Barmby was involved, Barmby and Hignett were called the Midget Gems, and Hignett finished off by smashing it into the top of the Chelsea net from just inside the penalty, as I remember. Well, certainly one of my heroes was John Hickman at the time, and I remember his goal. Just his commitment and his, his, his involvement in the game during 90 minutes, he was a trier. That's what I like about him. This is Mills. Good looking ball, Hickton! Meeting the ball first time and poor, poor Cooper didn't have much chance with that. Now Chudino. Three defenders around him, he's got away from McAllister. Fed through to Fjertov, great chance for Yanava Fjertov. It is right front. It's Fjertov's goal, but all the talk will be about the man who made it, Juninho. His first major contribution, 10 minutes into his Middlesbrough career. Looking at the, the Manchester United game, semi-final, second leg um, at Old Trafford, we had a few words with Pally, me, me and him exchanged a few words leading up to the game. I was saying what I was going to do and Pally was saying what he was going to do. But uh, I knew the only way to shut Pally up was to put one in the back of Manchester United's net. On the night, I remember Stuart Ripley turn up the, the left-hand side, left wing, hit a superb ball across. I, I came in between Bruce and Pally, and uh, I was fortunate to get there first. And as I hit it, Schmeichel went down and went over his head. But uh, that brought us back into the game. I think it was one each at that time. and. Uh, Ended up the game went into extra time and unfortunately we were beaten so the goal didn't count for anything. Here goes Stuart Ripley. Parker trying to stick with him. Ripley is strong enough. Chance for Slaven! Five minutes of the second half gone and Middlesbrough are back in business. Bernie Slaven's equaliser. Starts a party behind Peter Schmeichel's goal. You can't allow him a side of goal. Full marks to Stuart Ripley, so strong. And the cross picked out by Slaven, who picked out the back of the net. It's Kernigan driving it forward for Middlesbrough. And here's Wilkinson. Defender slipped, and Wilkinson has scored. Middlesbrough have taken the lead, they've done what they did in the third round, come from 1-0 down to lead 2-1, and the man who's brought the second goal to their delighted supporters is Paul Wilkinson. Bambi. English combination, Juninho! Yeah. 
What a dispatch. And it's Samba time for Middlesbrough. Oh, what a spectacular effort, it is there! Terry Cochran scores one of the most spectacular goals of the season. Now Borsman, coming inside Rice. Bill Borsman trying to do it on his own. Pulling it back for Mills, stopped on the line but Mills. Following it up and Arsenal complain. Mills celebrates, and David Mills goes across to congratulate Phil Borsma because that goal was all about his positive running. 13 minutes gone. Ormrod now, still three in the middle. Anthony Ormrod, yes! Debut delight for Anthony Ormrod! Ravanelli tries the shot, what a goal! He bended in around him, super shot from Ravanelli. He takes his scoring spree to six for the season. His second of the match, and Middlesbrough lead Coventry City by three goals to nil. <laughs> For Bell, beautiful taken by Bell. Emerson, such a Nino. Can you get the cross in? Bamboozles her, Nolan. Oh, there it is! Put that one into the album. kick uh, hoisted down the left and here's Paul Wilkinson inside that Newcastle area 1-0 Paul Wilkinson excellent strike perfect positioning and perfectly finished off by Wilkinson will do it again Putney first time shot oh a tremendous goal 
I think just for a split second, Trevor Putney didn't realise that it had gone in. He'll let him. Chance here for Blackmore. Good shot, good goal. Oh, my word. Clayton Blackmore, the Welsh international, really has been out of favour uh, at Middlesbrough this season. But he shoots them into the lead in the eight and a half minutes of this game. Ravanelli tried to get it back to him. Juninho struggling his way through somehow. Ravanelli! There's Jankovic. And Middlesbrough have got three players coming from the back now. One of them is Angus, the centre half on the far post here. Townsend, it's Muster has popped up on the edge of the Bradford penalty area, and now Kinder! Terrific goal by Vladimir Kinder, equalises for Borough. to David Hodgson. He had not a chance of getting that ball, but it was running over the dead ball line, the goal line, covered by Gallagher, but Hodgson wouldn't be shaken off it. He fought for it, stuck out a foot, got the ball across, and the easiest of goals for Mickey Burns, and 16 minutes, the Borough a one up. Slaven on that famed left foot of his. Oh, yes, that's a glorious strike from Bernie Slaven. They love him here at Ayrton Park, and that's why. Ravinelli. Janino getting the better of May, and it's Hignett. Back for Janino. Chance for Middlesbrough. 
A goal. What a goal. For Brian Robson's man. What a goal. to nil but here's Ripley creating space for himself can he finish it oh he can superbly struck and that's a beautiful goal from Stuart Ripley his first of the season it's just magic the way he just created it out of almost nothing he ran quite a long way with the ball good goal good goal all around Juninho brilliant play oh Juninho for Middlesbrough, fabulous goal, oh wonderful goal the way it was made and taken by the little Brazilian and Middlesbrough are in front after 38 minutes. Slaven and uh, the ball really bobbling around it comes back again to Falconer who tries one with the left foot what a shot it dipped and it fairly flew past Shilton Willie Falconer 2-1 to Middlesbrough and this is a really spectacular effort from the former Aberdeen man beautifully done Well, I enjoyed it because it was my only goal for Middlesbrough, as it turned out. Um, but that was an important game for us as well because uh, we only had, I think, it was three games left at home uh, leading up to the running for promotion. And uh, we had Port Vale at home and we went on to win the game and I scored the first goal. Uh, but I remember just cutting in and it was uh, with my favourite right foot, <laughs> which everyone used to say I stood on. but. Uh, uh, fortunately on the day I scored on that one and it was an important win for us. Got a lot of men back. White in possession. Still with White. Square for Robson. Goal! Brian Robson, the boss, gets his first goal and leading right from the very front. Terrific strike. And that one has set Ayrson Park absolutely alight. Look at the smile there on Robson's face. Armstrong with the corner. And it's a goal. It's a goal. Bohm got his head to it. The ball came across. Stuart Bohm went up. He beat everyone. Bohm headed it. But it seemed to go straight to the goalkeeper, hit the goalkeeper, and rebound into the top of the net. Beck is onside here, it's Mikel Beck. Oh, that tells you something about his confidence in front of goal at the moment. Middlesbrough two up in 18 minutes. Sublime service 
from Paul Merson. And then time just seemed to stand still for a moment as Mikhail Beck lobbed the ball over Bartram. for Mills and Middlesbrough for all that said about them are pushing forward again now good run by Mills Wood is just behind and it's in the back of the net by Bryan Peter Bryan gets his first goal of the season and a timely moment to score it too but all the credit goes to David Mills Quite the same style as their opponents tonight. Oh, and say, who else? Neil Madison. Can you believe what a game he's had? There was nothing on, but anything goes for Neil Madison tonight. The ahead of Thompson. Pollock! Oh, what a shot from Jamie Pollock! The Leicester City defence are absolutely stunned. The Middlesbrough fans can't believe it. He must have hit that from 30 yards. Jamie Pollock, he was only 18 in February. This is 20th league appearance, and he cracks in an unstoppable shot that I doubt whether Kevin Poole actually saw it. Tall men have gone forward. Wilkinson again getting underneath it. Hendry, what a goal! John Hendry, the overhead kick, and Hendry is really back. again is he offside Jankovic no he's not now then can Jankovic do it here he can thumped it in and with 10 minutes to go Bosco Jankovic scores again This is Wilkinson, good goal by Wilkinson, taken in typical style, Paul Wilkinson's first of the season, 63 minutes on the clock, and Borough back in business. Busto to Ravinelli, Ravinelli! them in and there's just no stopping him it's a second goal for Ravinelli Hinkton found himself a very useful bit of space McAllister across that's two Sunas 
made by Hickton, finished by Sunas, right on the stroke of half-time. And Spurs defenders arguing among themselves as to whose responsibility was that. Hickton found space at the throw-in, took it round the back of McAllister, the low ball across, and Sunas the easiest task in the world to push it past Jennings. Well, it was, a, it was a very good, strong run by Paul, and uh, it was a great through ball by Higgy. Uh, and Merce went on and finished it nicely, and, and that put us in a, a reasonable position because of having the weak goal. Uh, in fact, it turned out to be a really important goal for us. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Merce uh, is a great striker of the ball. That's it. But Andy Townsend held it up because he felt that Beck was going to be onside, but here's a great run by Merson. Here's a great chance for Middlesbrough now. And it's a terrific goal! Trying to play a lot of these one-twos in the box and they're not working. Now they've got problems there. Uh, Swansea three against two. Uh, Proctor through to Hodgson and it's number five. Ten minutes left, and yet another breakaway splits Swansea wide open. Strong player, midfield, everywhere. Whenever you played, you, you made himself useful. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, I don't think they're going to play him like him. Beck. Beck flicks it on, inside the box is Andy Townsend, back to go, Townsend wants support, Curtis Fleming is there on the edge of the area, Fleming for That's Craig Hignett, hit it Higgy, Higgy hits the track, goal! Craig Hignett shot, rips high and handsome into the top of the net and all of the frustration, all of the agony ends with a master stroke from the super scouser, it's 1-0 to the Borough, and Borough flying high at the top. Wilkinson holding things up nicely until uh, Ripley is there to take the return ball. He just loves to run at them, does uh, Ripley. Oh, not only run at them, there's venomous strike from Stuart Ripley. It's one of the goals of the season. Nelson Park. As they see Middlesbrough trail 2-1. Wright coming forward. Gone past a few challenges already. Tommy Wright this time throws the ball across the penalty area. Peak with a challenge to Wilkinson. Wilkinson turns his man and shoots. A great finish by Paul Wilkinson. He grabs his fourth goal for the club, Paul Wilkinson. Murdoch, Owen oh, Foggan going well, and David Mills, a great shot, a brilliant turn, and they've got it.
anger is here and a chance for Paul Merson. Yes! Paul Merson has got the goal he so badly wanted. And who knows? Middlesbrough have half an hour to maybe rescue the game thanks to Paul Merson. Now Blanca has got the return as well and he's got the support now from Kinder. Armstrong taking it down, well, Armstrong gets his shot in and he scored as well! And Alan Armstrong has scored on his debut! Oh, it's the right week to make your debut for Middlesbrough! Anything Branca can do, Armstrong is going to have a go at as well! Good man Terry Cochran, brilliant on the wing, brilliant wing on his day, Excellent, brilliant, good balls into the box. You know, and he created loads of goals for the Burns. Armstrong into Burns. Proctor on his right. This is Proctor, and Cochrane's got a million miles of room. And it's a beautiful goal. Oh, that really was a corker of a goal. And. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Chelsea players were in the penalty area. Jimmy Phillips has put Middlesbrough ahead. And they've taken the lead. My favourite one with uh, Fabrizio was the Derby County FA Cup game when we won 2 0 down there. Uh, we're 1 0 up and we make a nice attack and move. Um, and I think it was when Phil Stamp squared the ball to Fabrizio and he, he smashed it with loads of power um, into the far corner, um, you know, which won us the tie. Poised to make a run. This is Giannino. He's got nobody to his left. He has now. It's Ravanelli. The lovely switch of play. Oh, what a finish! And Ravanelli ensures that Middlesbrough will go into the FA Cup semi final for the first time in their history. It's his 25th of the season, but this one has huge significance. Lovely switch of positions with Giannino. And Ravanelli rifles the ball with his left foot beyond Martin Taylor and in stoppage time makes it Derby nil, Middlesbrough two. I remember Stan more for, more for his link-up play than, uh, than his finishing. Uh, I can remember certainly the goals he scored uh, the away game at Newcastle. Uh, but more I remember Stan for making play rather than being at the end of it. Now a chance for Cranks to break, he's got Cummins with him, now Cummins has got to be careful to keep on side, he is on side, and it's four, oh that was tremendous, oh that gives him ten out of ten and one for neatness, a lucky break, the ball rebounding to Cranks, but he made ground and little Stan Cummins had the sense to stay on side when the ball was passed to him, he kept his cool and really Pundered it into the back of the net. He didn't try to take the goalkeeper on with any sort of dribbles, just hit it first time. Musto. Built off with a flick. And Nick Barbie has given Middlesbrough a fantastic start at Highbury on his Middlesbrough debut. Brian Robson and company back amongst the big boys. They played here with great poise for the opening half an hour. And they've taken the lead.
Middlesbrough remain 3-0 ahead. Ball played through, looking for Hendry. Hendry against White. He's cutting inside. He's driving. It's Hendry. Middlesbrough 4, Leeds United 0. And the long through ball was took stunned to Hendry. Hendry cut inside of White. And the Leeds fans can't believe what's happening to them. The Middlesbrough fans are in heaven. Hendry makes it. Middlesbrough 4, Leeds 0. Tony Warner oh, has come in for him and Burson has punished a dreadful aberration by Fraser Digby. Well, that was quite astonishing. Very quick thinking by Merson. But such sloppy work from Fraser Digby. There's no other word for it, I'm afraid. Kernigan's there, oh it's an equaliser, it's Kernigan and Borough have done it, it's the skipper. Second bite at the cherry here. Worked it brilliantly, and still the chance. And then an arms run. The score for Middlesbrough. From what persistence to set it up for him from Paul Gascoigne. Well, we said this guy, he only needs 30 seconds in a game to reduce match winning brilliance. Come on. Cannon's knocking it way across to Bailey. Armstrong wide on the left and unmarked. And a beautiful header, a lovely goal by Ashcroft. Oh, that really was magical football. Kinder and Kinder straight downfield will look for Paul Merson. Merson nips out of his opponent. Great work by the red boots of Merson. Inside the box, Merson finds the finish. It is the magic man, Paul Merson. His 13th goal of the season is distinctly unlucky for Tranmere, but what a smart finish. For a two, Tranmere nil. Good flick on by Wilkinson. Oh, here's Hendry with a great chance. 1-1. One, one. Well taken by John Hendry. He struck that really well. The Sheffield Wednesday's defence would be less than happy with the way they dealt with that. The Wilkinson flick seemed to make them freeze. Hamilton Rickard, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> the, the two, absolutely superb. Really enjoyed it. After the time he's had uh, getting here, He's done very, very well indeed, the lad. He scored two goals away from home, an important game. He did very well. That's my best memory.
Rickard for back. Good play from the front two from Middlesbrough. Hamilton Rickard goes in and slots it away. Brilliant. Superb goal. There's a little example of front men working together. Came back off the heels of Ruddock to Barnby! Wonderful strike by Nick Barnby. And what a response set from Middlesbrough, who've gone straight down the other end to restore their lead. The disconsolate figure there of David James. Beaten by the sheer force of the shot from Nick Bartby. Middlesbrough get a free kick. Salmas curling it in. Comes off Rice. Bohm. Pushed out. Bohm again. Now Mills. David Mills. The man with the golden touch gives Middlesbrough the perfect start. Box is clearance and there's Wilkinson with a flick through. Here's Craig Hignett and now John Hendry. Plenty of people up in this Berra attack as the ball is cut in there towards Wilkinson. He couldn't get there. Robbie Musto could. Drilling the ball home. And Robbie Musto brings Middlesbrough level. Lovely, concerted and flowing move, this one. Henry's cut back, really got West Brom's defence stranded, and a fine finish from Musto. Jankovic, Cochran, Armstrong, it's Cochran! Terry Cochran equalises. And Ayrson Park celebrates. Looking for the shorter corner here as we see the Ayers pushing forward more. It's Cox now, lifting it in. Flying effort away, Moore, all in a little touch, Moore, what a terrific goal, Alan Moore! And if any goal can inspire a team, surely that one from Alan Moore will do. Fabulous finish, that. You could see it coming, he knew what he was going to do, didn't he? Madrid, the great young stars of English football. Now Mills, he ran beautifully on the blind side and a fine save, but that's it. Foggan the scorer, but the man who really made it was Mills by his lovely running. He anticipated that ball and a fine save by the goalkeeper, but Foggan running up. It's 4-3. 18 minutes left. Here's Merson. And still Paul Merson. Played behind Moore, but it's Emerson! And just as he did in this fixture last year, Emerson with a rocket launcher has put Middlesbrough ahead. Well, what can you say about this guy? Great work for Merson. Such a threat when he's got the ball at the feet. It's a quality cutback, but what a strike from the Brazilian. Absolutely blockbuster. Central position, right foot, goalkeeper, absolutely no chance. A whack by Craggs. And young Alan Willey there again, only 17 years old. Turned inside, what a good round of chance here for Armstrong! Yes! 1-0 for Middlesbrough! Oh, out of uh, defence! 
defence it came. And a defence splitting pass as far as Spurs were concerned, and it found the number 11, David Armstrong. And as Jennings came out, he slipped it past him, just inside that far post. I suppose the other one in recent time has got to be Janinho. Class player, tremendous player, just a privilege to see him play. Total footballer. Beck, Janinho, all the way! A beauty! and can Payton do it now for Middlesbrough? Oh, Wilkinson, it's there! They've done it again! It's Paul Wilkinson, two of the minute. Unbelievable stuff. They turn this cup tie round on its head and they're delighted. Armstrong and Armstrong again he went nicely for that and scored oh that's well taken as well by David Armstrong not unlike the Bristol goal in a way the angle it was scored from but Armstrong gave the first ball ran so well for that return and got his shot in across the keeper to hold off his man and turn him as well and he gets round him Still with Fjortov, that's good work. Fjortov, he wanted that one himself, and he's got it. My goal all the way, says Jan Fjortov. Started and finished by the Norwegian international. Johnston up, and Armstrong's in there, saved by the goalkeeper's feet, back by McAndrew, and in! And on his 200th first-team appearance, the captain scores. Coming from a free-kick by John Craggs, Armstrong's first effort hitting the goalkeeper, Hansbury, and Tony McAndrew heading through to put Middlesbrough into the lead after seven minutes. The other end immediately for Fjortov, and he's onside this time. Shot and covering, Fjortov the shot, Fjortov the goal, great goal, that's why they signed him. Record signing, the fans love him, Fjortov's second goal since he joined from Swindon Town before the deadline, and what a critical goal it may be as Middlesbrough seek a place in the Premier League. Mahoney, up uh, Oh, surely that's one, yes, two. That really was lovely football as the ball pushed forward to Mahoney, then to Burns. He took it well, got the defence wrong-footed, squared it into the middle, and Ashcroft completely unmarked, able to bring the ball down, knock it home for goal number two after 25 minutes. International colleague Neville Southall. Thanks to Armstrong. And it comes to Mahoney, and that's a nasty deflection. And Brock the score. He's equalised. Oh, he showed tremendous coolness for a youngster. Hard luck on 
Hard luck on the goalkeeper as the ball was punched out. It was a nasty deflection for him to have to take. strong enough oh he found Hodgson so well can he turn on Rushbury on to number four Angus and it's 2-0 a real blockbuster Sweeping forward, Branca's round his man. It's still Branca going. Branca, he's done it again. Marco Branca, 2 0 Middlesbrough. Three goals in two games. Marco Branca gets the sight of goal, and you cannot stop it. Coming, uh, coming across there and lays a lovely ball for. Andy Payton through on his own, could mark his debut with a goal in the first three minutes. What a dream start for the signing from Hull City. Andy Payton in three minutes has got the goal. Great might fancy a strike. Straight at the wall though, comes straight back to him. Mistake with the rebound. That's a terrific finish. Oh, that also shows what's happened when you're at the top of the league. Racing for that return first, and he gets it now. Almost going to a lot. Suddenly, Ramage comes away and he's giving it to Burns. And Zafir were offside, and Cockham was never offside. Now Burns is not offside, and there's the seven. And really, that was the dreaded end for Chelsea. They thought Cochrane, this fellow, was offside. They all stopped playing, and the linesman rightly wait play on. side of goal, it's 2-0. Hamilton Rickard is having a splendid afternoon here in London. Armstrong, the player behind Craggs. Oh, and it deflected off the wall. So the goal will go down to Johnny Craigs. And it came off the wall past the goalkeeper who had moved the other way. Johnny Craigs, third goal of the season. What power! That's real Brazilian finishing in the grand style. Oh, the 
danger that uh, Berra might get another on the break and Slaven sets off from the halfway line. He'll be pursued all the way. Trot on the ball almost. He's still got the chance. Slaven, and that's good enough, surely now. Slaven's goal, 4 2. the ball wide for Brady coming out of stuck in the mud and now Saunas with Armstrong in the middle and Borsma there too here's Armstrong and it's three so David Armstrong keeps up his scoring form in cup ties go against Smallwall 1988 uh, just before that game, we've been doing well in the top league. Just before the game, we signed uh, Peter Davenport for 750,000. A lot of people were questioning maybe that be the, that may be the end of myself. Uh, and after, I don't know, it was early on in the game anyway, received the ball, took it in towards goal, maybe about 20 yards from goal, and I just hit it again, left foot, and it flew over the goalkeeper. And uh, I think that was just. Um, I was just happy scoring that day because there was pressure on myself because of the signing of Davenport um, and I class it as a good goal. running free here and he's got three in support to his left this is Ormrod instead it's Merson and now Beck and that's a goal they were queuing up to score it and Mikhail Beck got to the front of the queue and Madrim are up and it's driven and it's gone in from Armstrong as everyone was expecting the cross Hardwick could only help it in Thomas. And it's backs the shot. Seemed to get a deflection. And Middlesbrough got the second goal. 78 minutes. And of the match then is Paul Merson. Craig Harrison whips in a good ball, far side. Hignett could end it here. Hignett goal! Game, set, match. Hignett strikes in spectacular fashion. He did, he rips the net out and sends it sailing down the River Tees. Sunderland are sailing out of the competition. Middlesbrough 2, Sunderland nil. All hail Hignett. Andrew 
coming through for Shearer to chase. He's wide and he's got an empty goal and it's Hodgson, not Shearer. And he's there, 3-0. The man who's caused so much trouble throughout this match. And he surely now puts it behind. Ball tripped over by Hendry, it's there! Oh, that was superb! The ball chipped in, Hendry, goalkeeper off the line. Middlesbrough 3, Derby County 0. Middlesbrough trying to keep the pressure. Well, he may earn himself a rebuke from the FA because you're not actually supposed to bear your chest in the Premiership this season. Now for Hendry, who's come out wide. Can he get the cross in as well? Looking for Wilkinson! Another classic Paul Wilkinson goal. Hendry Wilkinson, the double act again, and it's 4-1 now for Middlesbrough. Finds the gap, gets to Ashcroft, to Mills. Ashcroft is reached in, and he scored. And he's hurt himself doing it. Well, a full, he's hurt his knee, but he's scored. Everton backing up. And that should be the long-awaited Borough victory. Juninho and Rabadelli combined. So here from the free-kick situation, they look to the trusty boot of Phillips. What a rocket! Jimmy Phillips and Borough in front for the first time. As good a free-kick as you'll ever see. Well, unless you're a Derby County fan, you won't mind seeing this goal over and over again. So sweetly struck. Cross comes in, not a good one. Back with more, tries a first time shot. Oh, it's there! Unbelievable! From literally out of nothing, the ball came back to Alan Moore. Across coming out to Sunis. Three! A mistake by Cyril Knowles, and it's Sunis' second goal of the game. His seventh goal of the season, and a gift from a hapless Cyril Knowles. Alan Willey, the sub who came on and crossed it. Cyril Knowles failing to get it away, and Sunis pouncing on it like a tiger on his prey. 3 0. Bambi looked as though he might have been offside, but no flag. And Middlesbrough are back at one all. No protest.
Combining well with Moreno and then with Mawson! What a goal! Well, you won't see any better in the FA Cup this season because that is superb play from Middlesbrough, in particular Craig Hignett. A number of one-twos that Hignett himself started. He was a player that initiated in the midfield area. Tremendous throw, it helped on, surely there it is. Oh, that was a tremendous throw. And it's a goal by Burns. Tremendous throw from John Craggs, and that caused consternation. Hignett Moore, all there to have a go. Hignett tries it. Great goal, Craig Hignett. You won't get a much better finish than that. And maybe they were looking for the one over the wall, and Hignett squeezed it in. They're out of their seats at Ayrson Park. Borough have got the lead. quickly and he loses it to Saunas the short pass that's accurate to Murdoch and the long one that he hopes will get Mills away and Beal goes in and Mills is there well that was a mistake by Tottenham and the number eight David Mills and Philip Beal was the culprit there for Tottenham running by Foggen and Hickton. He was on the outside of the box, rather nearly crossed it in, and he just hit it perfect. It was like a really good shot. Ravinelli coming alive again. Janino wants the ball played to him. Ravinelli spots out Emerson! Well, what a way to round it all off! So he's got a lot of shirts on his arms and has scored. And that really was a beautiful goal made by Cummins.
Janino against uh, Blackburn. We won one. Uh, we won two one, but it was they had a free kick on the edge of the area. We just broke so quickly, and there's about three one twos. We just put it away over. Janino from midway inside his own half feed Fabrizio Ravanelli and Middlesbrough for once have a little bit of space in which to work. If Ravanelli looks up, he can find Stamp. Stamp does to Janino. Janino surely! And Janino breaks the deadlock! The spark of genius who are calling for is provided predictably by the Brazilian. I suppose I admired Graham Souness, because uh, when he was here, he was, uh, I thought he was the bee's knees, Souness at the time. Like. I think he had everything. I think he could pass it, he could score, he was a finisher. No one got past him, he could tackle out of his skin, you know. I think he was good at it. Souness to murder. That's for Craggs, who got well forward. Mills, Souness, oh beautiful shot by Graham Souness. Just what Middlesbrough wanted, an immediate reply. John Craggs, the fullback, had got well forward as he tends to do, had a hand in the move. The ball came back to Souness, and what a beautiful shot, beating Farmer right in the corner. Stuart Ripley against Peter in the cup. He scored it on the right flank, going past those people, corner of the box, turned far corner in one shot. Absolutely amazing, especially from somebody who doesn't score. And Ripley through the middle for a change. Here goes Ripley. Did he go all the way? Luke. And Ripley checks. Oh, that is an absolutely marvellous goal from Stuart Ripley. He's been the threatener for Middlesbrough all night long, but he's got and done it single-handed now. That was a marvellous goal. Ripley twisted Luke, turned, didn't really look up, knew where the goal was, and right in that far corner. It's a sensational goal. Ball came over from the left. He was a bit behind me. I just remember... Uh, Flicking it over the lad's head, spinning and hitting it with my left foot, which I favoured. And uh, it flew over the goalkeeper who was in loan from Liverpool, Matt Cooper. But I wasn't the only one to score that day, there was six goals went past him. So he didn't have one of his better days. The greatest goal I've seen so far has got to, it's got to be Gascoigne's. It's his first goal for the club. He's had a lot of stick. A lot of people said he shouldn't have come to the club, but it was just a superb goal uh, from free kick. Absolutely superb. And he's just great. It's, really, it's, the, it's money well spent as far as I'm concerned for the borough. First goal scored at the Solnet Riverside by Craig Ignett against Chelsea FC. Right? That'll do me. More for many for those young kids of here, because one day we'll beat Chelsea 5-0, but we beat them 2-0 that day. That'll do me. That's the best ever goal.
I've seen. Uh, Emerson's at, um, at Sunderland, we beat him 2-1. That's probably the best goal I've seen, because you beat, you beat the Macklin's that. A lovely ball, Fleming on the left. Emerson with the shot, oh, what a goal! Emerson with an absolute stunning shot. Bang up against Swindon last season, over kick beauty. I don't think you could forget that goal. Uh, I mean, that's probably uh, my favourite goal since I've been at the club. Um, to show the agility, um, you know, and the power that uh, Marco got in, that uh, his reflexes were great. Uh, it was a fantastic overhead kick. Fleming, Armstrong again knocks it in. Well, this is a magnificent goal, this, isn't it? When you're on fire, anything can happen. A good ball dinked in, there's nothing on there. John Henry kicked the ball up just outside the box and then he ran at their, their, back, their back line, went past two or three guys, got the edge of the box and he stopped the ball in the far corner. Lovely goal, great goal. I always remember that one. That's the reason he knows against Chelsea with a diving header. When he picked the ball up and took a couple of people on, done a couple of one twos, and then finished the goal with a diving header. It was brilliant. Janino just waiting for the runners to move. Emerson. Janino. Great play by Janino. Great ball to the back. Janino's inside for the return ball. Can Beck get it across? Janino with it. Oh, what, what a goal! Absolutely magical. He started it. He helped it on his way, and he finished it. 52. I mean, he had great driven uh, abilities, Janino, and he, he set up a hell of a lot of goals uh, the time that he was at the club. Um, but he got in himself on that one and. Uh, you know, he, he loved it, especially scoring the header as well. But, uh, those were few and far between.